What's good? We back. Had to get it in one more time real quick. I know the uploads kind of close. I got to double them up from time to time, as you see. Uh, but I had to get it in one more time. One time for the one time to talk about this subject. I know Black Fight Fans TV, your homie K-Hove, told me, don't worry about it, man. Joshua Waters going to happen in Vegas. You know, 7-8, don't worry about it, you know. Black Fight Fan told me in Blue Bud, uh, boxing, TV, you know, don't worry about it. But I'm worried about it now. And uh, we're going to get into the latest as the world turns drama between Anthony Joshua, Eddie Hun, and Barry Wooding Tooth Huns, and the Deontay Wilder team situation. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. Y'all know what it is. We're getting it in one more time for the one time. And y'all know we do. We do that boxing shit. And check the links in the description so you know this trill. Um, but uh, I'll screenshot this one for you. Uh, and as well, um, you know, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, follow us and shout out to the Wrench Gang. All right. Um, you know what's going on now? You know, Anthony Joshua, apparently, he did an interview. Um, he was on the stage somewhere. Um, and the interviewer was asking him a whole bunch of questions. And you talking shit. I want to rain down hell on, on Deontay Wilder. And I know this sucker nigga don't want the fight. But here go the screenshot real quick, man. Anthony Joshua has confirmed that he intends to bring the Deontay Wilder fight to the UK for two reasons. Okay, here go the two reasons. Um, he feels he owes it to the UK fans. Okay, who gives a shit about that? But I, I, I reiterate why I say that. To be secure to avoid tricks that will be played on him as a as the away fighter. Like, like get the fuck out of here with that one, man. You know... I guess, I guess it's karma on that second one, man. Let's start with that second one. It's karma. Because how you did Carlos to come, you know? <laughs> you feel that since you, you got the judges on your side at, at home and you got the refs, you know, that's what we get neutral refs from, man. You want you want a ref from the UK, you ref from America, and then another ref from, from Austria or India or wherever, who, Pakistan, you can do that. You want your, you know, you just not going to get that ref that you had versus Joseph Parker that was saving your bacon. You know, to avoid tricks. Like, this dude is such a punani. He's a punani. Did Lennox Lewis worry about that when he came over here? No, because Lennox Lewis know he was going to knock some ass out. You know, to avoid, to avoid tricks from the away team. Like, shut the fuck up. Then you got people come, oh, you see what Walter did to Ortiz? Oh, you see what he, like, shut the fuck up. He didn't do shit. He knocked Ortiz out. He knocked Ortiz out. At the end of the day, when you, look, 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 man. You know, I'm, I'm come from a, 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 I come from, I come from a city where you know, we about that real shit, man. You know, um, we don't we don't do that we don't do that that weak ass shit, man. When the money is on the floor, when the money is real, trill, whatever adjective you want to say, want to say, it was something of substance. When it's fifty million dollars on the floor, bro. Listen, hear me. And, and y'all UK wooden teeth motherfuckers. P, P, uh, uh, pinky up in the air, tea sipping motherfuckers, man. I don't give a fuck about what y'all got to say in the comment section, you know, because y'all don't understand shit because y'all y'all ain't shit, man. I'm going to say it right now. Y'all UK crows, y'all ain't shit. Anytime a nigga can show you the money and say, oh, I got 50 million for you, plus 50% on the back end. Anytime a dude overcompensate you, man, and the money is real and it's in the bank, and, 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 and you say, oh, no, man, you know, Oh, I'm good, man. Oh, I'm good. That's a sign. That's a sign that you're weak, bro. It's a sign that you're scared. You know, scared money don't make no money, man. So you want? Okay, tell me this. You want Anthony Joshua to take a huge pay cut because you owe it to the fans in the UK? Didn't you just give them several big fights in the UK? You gave him Vladimir Klitschko. You know, to come, it was a big fight. I mean, Charles Martin was a hell of a fight as far as the crowd was there. I mean, Joseph Parker, like, come on, man. Like he said, man, you got to listen to what these sucker, these sucker niggas say, man. Real shit. You got to listen. You got to open your ears up you know, and close your eyes sometime. He said, I don't feel the use of you leaving the UK because, you know, I, I just don't see it. Like, that's, that's, that's pussy talk, bro. You will never become a worldwide entity, like you said, unless you fight in America. America is the A side for boxing, you know? If you feel like you're going to win, can't nobody stop you. If you're going to rain down hell on Wilder, if Wilder is chinny, if he's weak, he garbage, then why not fight on where, where, where you where in America? If you would say, well, you know, Anthony Joshua, the A-side, man. No, the A-side, whoever got more money. And Eddie Hearn pockets ain't deep enough. They only offered Deontay Wilder 12.5. And whatever the rebuttal offer was or or, or the counter offer to De uh, Deontay Wilder, is, it still wasn't enough. He asked for $25 million. Eddie Hearn and Barry Hearns don't have the funds. You heard what Tyson Fury said the other day. 
they couldn't afford me. You know, they couldn't afford Mikey Garcia. You heard Mikey Garcia say they offered me two good offers. You know, his brother said they offered him two good offers, but he's still getting more from Al Heyman. But y'all believe in that billion-dollar fake-ass deal. This, they, they don't have the money. So why should Deontay Wilder come over to the U.K. for short money? Honestly, why would I come over there if I'm not getting what I deserve or what I want to come over there? When I gave your guy $50 million and 50% on the back end. So he can make damn near $100 million fighting over here. Or he'd rather, he'd rather make uh, $30 million or or whatever it is he make over in the U.K. just to fight at home. That's sucker shit, man. That's sucker shit. Big sucker shit. He's a scary cat. You know, he let Eddie Hearn and, and, and Barry Hearn put him in that chair and, and take that little that little spoon and hypnotize him like, get out. You know, now he sound like a company. man. I told you guys, man, I always felt this fight wasn't going to happen. And, and, and to be honest, it, it doesn't ra- if he beats Deontay Wilder in the U.K., it does not raise his stock. Can he get any higher in the U.K.? No, he didn't hit his ceiling over there, that little small-ass market. He can keep selling out UK arenas and, and making that. Because if you fight in America, you knock out Deontay Wilder, your check's going to be looking 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 million dollars if the fight is promoted correctly. You in a whole different class of uh, tax bracket, bro. A totally different class for making 18, 20 million. Man, you're going to break the bank in America if you could beat this guy. Because Vegas is not going to let you just walk away and go back to the UK without a great offer. They looking for somebody to replace Canelo through all the bullshit to fight over there and, and be the next Mayweather. Jerry from Cowboy Stadium, Jerry World from the Dallas Cowboys, would love to have Anthony Joshua fight in his stadium. The Superdome, who was trying to get Floyd when he was doing the money team with, May, with 50 Cent before he went to jail, was going to pay him big money. The Barclays Center's big money. MSG, big money. Staples Center, big money. Dodger Stadium, big money. Big money is it's something that the UK couldn't even match. And people say, why isn't it so important to have the, the fight in America? Why Wilder just can't come over here? Now, if they gave Wilder the funds, I would say, yeah, he should go over there if he got what he asked for. But you know your self-worth. You can say he didn't make this and that. At the end of the day, he got his number. And like I said the other day, it's like me going to uh, buy something from somebody. You know, you go to Best Buy, you don't talk them down. They price is they price unless they price match. Like you go on the street. Somebody say, well, I got this lawnmower for, for $150. You agree to it, but you don't get there and say, well, you know what, man? You know, uh, I got $75 for the lawnmower. That's how you get fucking killed. That's how you get murdered. His number is his number. And if you can't meet the number, it's, hey, fuck it, then. About him, I'll go ahead and fight Brazil too. Fuck Deontay. Fuck Anthony Joshua. Because with Deontay Water, it's d- damn if he do, damn if he don't. If he beat Joshua, oh, he hit him behind the head. Or, or you know what? He low blowed him a little bit in his, his lower abdominal muscle. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be some bullshit anyway. I go for him. I go for 50 and 0, man. I'm not fucking with them, with them, uh, the motherfucking, uh, the white man that's backing Anthony Joshua. Now he's sounding just like him. After all that shit, I was trying to tell Black Fight Fan and and and, and Seven Eight Sports and that shit, man. I don't believe what that 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 punk ass nigga be saying Anthony Joshua. Though. I seen, I I read the articles, dude. I, I followed all the stuff that he said, man. He don't want to fight in America. You know, he ain't about that life. He said I don't want to fight Wilder till like 22 or 23. He telling you guys that he he acting like he wants to fight to save face. And a lot of these weak-minded, like-minded individuals is going to believe whatever they want to believe. But he can't fool me. And like I told you on the live stream, like I told Money Brown TV, like I told Correa, like I told the Cali Enigma too, I'm telling you this fight is five rounds and under. Four rounds and under. Anthony Joshua is not an impressive fighter, bro. He got off on Klitschko because Klitschko was old. And it seemed like they paid him off not to punch after he knocked him down, man. That fishy shit in the UK, man. And fishy shit happen, happen everywhere. We seen it in Canada yesterday, a little bit of fishy. I think a draw. Eh, it's all right. We seen it happen in America. But at the end of the day, when somebody paying you top dollar premium money, man, to come somewhere, plus they overcompensating for what you ask, and you said $50 million, I go wherever they tell me to go. And not only do you give you $50 million, they give you 50% of the revenue, 50% of the live gate ticket selling, 50% of the American pay-per-view. 50, and you also get your TV and international cut off the uh, the international TV deal, man. And trust me, a $20, $30 paper in, uh, uh, pay-per-view and, and, and on Sky versus Deontay Wilder, or you want to make a $50, $60 pay-per-view over in America with Deontay Wilder. And, I'm trying to, and, and what I'm saying with these UK idiots don't understand is the simple fact that the, the pay-per-view in America is better. You know, that fight will come on at 5 o'clock in the afternoon in November, December. That's the most horrible time of the year to do that shit. 
Motherfuckers out Christmas shopping about 5 o'clock on a Saturday. You know, that's why you see when, when the UK fights come on Showtime over at 5 o'clock, nobody watches them. It'd be like 400 or 500 viewers for Anthony Johnson versus Klitschko fight. You know, in the middle of the spring. Because people got shit to do in America. We're not in UK. They shoot billards and snookers and shit all day. Uh-uh. It's shit to do. It's shakers and movers. You think people in New York, California, Chicago, Houston, four of the biggest uh, cities in America, at 5 o'clock don't give a fuck about a Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua fight? No, they not. They not going to care about it. They probably catch the replay, but they're not going to care about a fight at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. It don't fly. People got shit to do. Now, in the wintertime, the fall right there, November, December, you know, 10, 11 o'clock, it's cold. It's, it's cold as hell. Casual fans are going to watch. And I'm speaking of the casual. The hard care fans is going to watch in America, but it's only a small percentage. And people say, well, you know, that pay-per-view will come on like 3, 5, 6, 6, 7 in the morning in the U.K. Well, you know, you, you only paying $20, $30 for a pay-per-view, man. We paying $60. You know, you little David Beckhams and y'all little, you know, I don't even know if UK have celebrities. I don't give a fuck about their celebrities. The royal wedding and shit, they could be ringside, but it's nothing compared to seeing Disney and Washington ringside. Possibly uh, make America great sitting ringside. <laughs> you know, Tom Brady, you know. It's nothing like seeing, seeing a who's who's list in Vegas. You know what I'm saying? Floyd Mayweather, Mike Tyson, you know. You know, Michael B. Jordan, John Travolta, you know, Mario Lopez, you know, see on a who's who's ring, uh, a ring, uh, ringside, man. You know, and people say, well, UK, I owe it to the UK fans that you didn't fought there four or five times. Stop trying to hide behind some bullshit. You got the big money. You got offered more money that, than you asked for. And you still scared to take the deal because Eddie Hearn and Barry Hearn is cracking the whip on that ass. You signed that extension. Now they got full control of you. You fucked up, boy. Anthony Joshua was a fucking retard. And I don't know if he fucking graduated or not, man. He got a GD or in the UK or he one of them kids over in the UK who can't read a time clock. But he getting broke in, bro. He really getting broke in, you know. You know, Pope Fiction, Vin Rang Styles, no homo. He's getting broke in. You know, they finally in his balls and shit over there and Eddie Hearn and them. They, and shout out to Blood Box Returns for the video yesterday, man, with the voiceovers, man. That's, that shit was funny as hell. But, yeah, that's all I say, man. You UK fans, y'all can, you know, fuck y'all motherfuckers too. You know, y'all want to come in here crying and saying this and that. Nobody care about y'all weak-ass venues. I watched that fight with uh, Warrington and Shelby Shelby last night. That venue was terrible. Them soccer, them soccer venues are terrible, man, for a boxing fight. You know, come over to Vegas, man. Get y'all money up, man, where the big boys at. A-Side of America, TBC and more. Y'all know what it is. We gone.